The art of having to ship your own gears and kicking that clutch pedal is dying a very slow and sad death. And not only that, a lot of the youth nowadays aren't that interested in cars in general. With countries like the United Kingdom and Japan having targeted banning the sales of internal combustion engines for new cars in the next decade or so, begs the question of what the future holds for car enthusiasts like us here in Malaysia. I'm here in Cyberjaya, the technological hub of Malaysia, a discount Silicon Valley if you will, to check out something that's rather fitting for a place like this. Something that I've been rather intrigued by in fact, which is an electric vehicle. And this isn't any ordinary electric vehicle because we went with a brand that's really pushing other manufacturers to step up their game. We got a Tesla. So welcome everyone to the future. Sounds cliche, I know, but there will be a time where everyone will be driving an EV or at least a hybrid of some sort. So if you can't beat the youth, why not join them with their cryptocurrencies and their Elon Musk? So this is the Tesla Model 3 long range. And yeah, we're kind of late to the Tesla party because there's not really an official importer here, but we scored the keys or a card in this case. Yes, this is the card to start the car by the way. So we're gonna try to do the most vanilla review with this car because we're going to do daily routines. So first off, we're going to go to the supermarket because it's a daily routine kind of thing. So what else are you going to start with? Let's just do the grocery run, set the GPS. Yeah, let's start. So with a minimalistic car like the Tesla Model 3, I got to get myself some minimalistic lunch. So I got some fruits and a drink, and I'm just gonna pop the hood, which is just with a press of a button on the phone. And I can just toss them all in. I'm just gonna put them there. So I think most Tesla owners are vegan, but clearly I'm not. So just stick with the fruits. So now that we've established that an EV is a much more practical car, and it's also much kinder to the environment. And due to the additional space up front, the Tesla can nearly double of what a normal Mercedes C-Class or BMW 3 Series can, especially with the cargo. However, Tesla does take a minimalist approach with the Model 3 because literally every single thing in the car is controlled from the main screen, even the glove box. So let's talk about some notable items about the Tesla. Unlike brands like Mercedes or BMW which have an AMG line or an M Sport line, the Tesla are all visually identical whether you take the standard plus, the long range which is this one, or you take the performance. There's nothing that screams performance on these cars because there's no contrast stitching, there's no sport seats. The only difference between the three models are the power as well as the additional front axles. However, all Model 3s do come with a glass roof. So if you are bored in traffic, you can stare at the sun which is brighter than my future. Is it faster than my V? Well, I don't think so, but let's just check it out. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not as fast as my V though. Well, if you are taking a loan using your wife's name, stretching up to nine years, yeah, sure, why not? But if you have the same amount of money as how I have in my wallet, then no. But in 2021, this Tesla Model 3 long range costs about 450,000 ringgit with all the taxes. And yeah, it's much more expensive than let's say Merc C43 AMG 
or BMW's M340i. But then again, the Tesla Model 3 isn't something that you would call cheap. However, the government has proposed a new tax incentive for 2022 because for a car like this that costs 450,000 new, this will now be about 300,000 ringgit for the base model, which is a lot of money. So if you are looking at something like a Nissan Leaf or maybe one of those new China EVs which are coming in soon, those will be relatively affordable and no duty and no tax. Yeah, that does sound appealing though. So it may come in handy to know that the Tesla Model 3 long range has about 449 horsepower on all four motors and because it has a top speed of about 230 kilometers and a 570 kilometers of range, you can easily leave your kids at school every day and drive like a maniac to pick them up because it's easily, I would rather leave them at school anyway because I want to have some fun with this car. It's so torquey and I can just leave a corner and <laughs> yes, so leave your kids at school every day. So if this was the performance variant, you can do the 0 to 100 run in about 3.1 seconds, but this being the long range, it does it in about 4.2. But my biggest issue at the moment is I don't have kids and I'm just going to some school hoping that some parents left their kids. So let's figure that out. I don't think we're allowed to fill up the kitchen. I'm not sure how anybody would question this, but Tesla does say it's completely fine to drive in the rain. You can even wade through some water. I'm not saying that you should, but you could much better than normal cars in fact because lithium-ion batteries are packed in airtight seals. So yeah, you could, I'm not saying that you should, and I won't be doing it. So yeah, I hope that answers the question. I'm not really sure how to answer that question to be honest. So after doing some of my daily routines and a bit of light drag racing with people who didn't know they were racing with me, the battery has gone down a bit on power so I'm just gonna charge it like how I charge my phone because this is basically like an iPhone with wheels so let's just treat it like an iPhone so pop the glove box, got myself a power bank right there, there you go. Oh it isn't charging. Anyway, not a problem, we'll just drive to a location nearby and simply just charge it up at the charging bay. It's fairly simple, just park it up, tap your EV card on the station and just plug it in. And if you want to kill some time while waiting for the car to charge up, the Tesla will actually keep you entertained with something they call a toy box in the infotainment screen. With said toy box, you could access some games via the arcade mode, be artsy with a sketchpad, imagine that your car is on Mars and put on the romance mode if you want to feel extra lonely while watching Netflix alone. Though you do look like a complete idiot if you're playing the game because the car's front wheels will move. So I think 450k for this car is a bit of a tall order and with 2022 coming in and the tax incentive, 300k does sound pretty appealing, especially with this car because after driving it for a while, I actually like it. Cars like this makes me interested in the future because it's really fun. You know, these, there are a lot of these gimmicks inside the car, sure, but it was a very nice car to drive. And will it be fun in the future? I hope this will be the stepping stone. And yeah, sure, Tesla does have a minimalistic approach. And I thought I wouldn't like it at first because it's just a screen and a steering wheel inside the car. But after driving it for a while, everything becomes a bit adaptable and it was quite easy to get along. And just about a month ago, I was in a Porsche Taycan and 
we drove it all the way to Seremban and it range anxiety was quite a real thing because we were afraid that the car wouldn't come back but with this after driving it since 7 a.m so it still does have about 70 percent of battery range anxiety is not really a thing with this car as someone who actually likes ddms and older cars and whatnot especially with manuals i'm actually a bit disappointed with myself because this is a brilliant car i actually liked it so among the three variants which is the standard plus the long range and the performance yeah i'll go with the long range because it still is quite fast it's still fun and you can buy upgrades online what's not to like so is malaysia ready for the ev lifestyle well, as you can see, we've been to about three charges today and we're only in Cyberjaya. I think Malaysia is almost there. So I'm not saying that you should buy one now, but with the incentive coming soon, I'm pretty sure everyone will be having a charger soon. So consider them, yeah.